Welcome to a tutorial on how to bypass internet filters at a school or college or anywhere else by Word X8. To start bypassing your school proxy, uh, first you need to open up your Internet Explorer or Firefox or other web browser. And personally, I'd suggest you don't go looking up illegal stuff if you bypass the school proxy or your college, wherever you are. Um, just do this to access sites that you should be able to access. We don't want to waste your time talking to them. I mean, if you look up something illegal, you get caught. Don't blame me. Um, so after you have your Explorer open, the one of the easiest ways to bypass a pro uh, school filter is to use something called a proxy. <coughs> in the address bar, type in samkline.com. S-A-M-K-L-I-N-E.com. It'll be under the visual description if you missed that. And this is a proxy. It's run by my friend. And... If the school blocks this, you could access it at home, and there's another proxy at the bottom called crymap.com. Also, there is another website called proxy.org, which has a list of all the proxies submitted to it. A lot of those proxies have annoying advertisements, though, which may annoy you. And right here, let's say, for instance, you want to ac access uh, YouTube if it's blocked at school. You type in, in youtube.com and hit go or enter. It'll bring you to YouTube, and it's in English. That's one way to block it. A few schools are able to block proxies, and that's very annoying. So one thing you could do is if you start up a command prompt, you have to do this at your house, though, because most schools will block command prompt running certain things. So just go to Start, Run, and when you have the Run option, type in CMD. This will bring up a little application like this. You need to type in Ping, and then the website name. So for instance, Ping youtube.com and then as you can see you get an IP address if you type that in so that's 208.65.13238 so if you type in this right here in the address bar you'll get that website As you can see, it brings you right, right to the website. Some schools do block the website, but not the uh, IP address itself, which is kind of ironic. Well, another way, thing you could do is you can use Babelfish Translator. To do that, just Google Babelfish. It doesn't matter if you spell it right. it will certainly pick it up. And Babelfish looks like this. You can trans It's basically an online translator. So, scroll down a little bit where it says Translator Web Page and type in your website and next to translate there's a bunch of different languages scroll to the bottom and just choose Spanish to English and hit translate so basically what this does is it's taking the already English web page and it's translating it to English so it doesn't change at all it's this uses frames so you can just move this up so the babble fish thing doesn't annoy you and you can use the web page if the school blocks this then there's only really one option you have left but I'll make a separate tutorial on this because I still haven't learned it and it's pretty complicated. It's called, uh, you have to use something called PuTTY. And it basically, you bypass the school's proxy and you tunnel to the website itself. It's really complicated and I'm going to have to figure out how to use that. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy. If you want to get the embed code to my video, then go to the right hand side of my video and click more. And then at the bottom of it, it'll say embed code can be found at, and click the link. This should bring you to my the same video at my River account, and the embed code can be found right at the right side. And you can just copy this, copy it into your website, or wherever else you want it.